So gold for me within the first descendant has started to become a currency, the currency I'm seeing most now being used. Kuiper shards, yes, are very, very important, but I definitely feel as time goes on with your progression, there comes a time where gold is needed more so because of how quick you deplete the currency in upgrading and researching. In this video, I go over the best farms in the game to give you a list of the easiest and quickest ways to farm gold within the first descendant. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ, now the winner of my last week's ultimate descendant giveaway can be seen on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my discord link down below and I'll sort you out your winnings. Now do you guys want to win an ultimate descendant or equal amount in calibre? Well my weekly giveaway is very very simple, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below, also make sure you are subbed. The more I see you on my first descendant videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick winners at the weekend and announce them then, so good luck. Also guys, join my Discord link down below for more giveaways. Okay, so earning gold within the first descendant is becoming more and more important and it definitely does as your time goes on with your progression. Today guys, we go over five plus of the best farms in the game. I go over a few classic spots to test them again post patch to see those gains. But let's get straight into it guys. So the first farm we will check out is a water cooling recording device mission within a Moongrave Basin area up on White Knight Gulch. So this is a farm I feel people are really sleeping on. This is a farm like a few others I will mention today, it relies on how fast you can take those enemies out. The faster you do, the quicker they spawn in. With a couple of bunnies or valbies here, I feel this could easily be one of the best, if not the best in the game. Now I ran this on my bunny solo to see what I could achieve. It consists of you starting the mission, triggering that A point, then letting the enemies capture it. Then guys, you just basically take out the two waves of enemies until you fail the mission and then simply just repeat it. So yeah, let them capture that A point guys and you get two waves of enemies spawning in indefinitely. And again, the quicker you can take these out, the quicker they spawn in. So me doing this solo on my bunny running from one end to the other, every run was taking around 4 minutes 20 seconds and I was getting around that 170,000 gold mark per run. Now on average that's roughly around 41,000 per minute give or take, this over the course of an hour is around that 2.4 million gold mark. Again this is me doing this solo, running backwards and forwards between these enemy spawns. If you have two players here sitting on those enemy spawns, taking them out as they spawn in, it wouldn't even require a Valby or a Bunny, as long as you can get the damage output out, it would easily double the gains we are seeing here, maybe even tripling them. It also is great for that Kuiper and everything else too, so it's definitely a farm you should seriously consider checking out. Okay so next up guys we have the new, well the new classic of the Kuiper mine mission upon that repository area within sterile land. So this is a mission I had to include just because I feel, in my opinion, it's still one of the best. So this type of my mission consists of the player starting it up, but not actually doing the objective. Just taking out the enemies that spawn indefinitely around this small area. This on Bonnie or Valby is unreal, but any descendant who can control those four spawn points will gain massive from this one. It's also a pretty popular area too, that many many players still come to farm, so if you're trying to level up, get XP, you may want to check this one out. So for me with this one, on my bunny running backwards and forth, hitting those enemy spawn points, I was getting around 210 to 240k gold per run. Each run though taking around that 6 minute mark, considering the fact of restarting it. So the math with this one is, like I said I was personally earning towards that 240k mark per run, but we will tone it down a little. Let's say I was earning 39k per minute per run here. Over the course of an hour in doing this, you'll likely see about 2.34 million gold per hour. That's not bad at all. Again, like I said, this is me just basically taking the numbers I was earning here, turning them down just ever so slightly and calculating this over an hour. It could be done much, much quicker if you're in a team. If you come here and there's a couple of albies here and a bunny, it will be much, much better. But in regards to what I was earning per run over the course of the hour, it's not bad whatsoever, so it's 
definitely one you should be, well, you know, taking advantage of. It's also great for those Kuipers too. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the original farm I found, uh, the Echo Swamp Abandoned Zone Area Abandoned Refinery Unit Mission. So this is a mission which is capable of being the best farm in this game in regards to Kuipers and possibly that gold too. But you need a decent team to do this and run it efficiently. I can easily do this with just a couple of bunnies. Um, I could run the entire mission in under 30 seconds. That's two runs per minute. But I'm also at the same time well aware that everyone plays on a bunny. What I will say is there's no real excuse now not to have a bunny leveled up just to use her for farming. But take into account probably not everyone's done this. We would do the maths on this basis. So I feel with this mission most players in the game will be able to run it in about a minute's time. Not much more, not much less. I was running it last night uh, at various stages. I had other players here doing it with me and I was hitting consistently that minute mark. Now every run we were doing this, um, I was getting roughly around that 50k gold mark. Now doing a maths here over the course of an hour, that's around that 3 million per hour mark. Now because runs of this mission will fluctuate, you can have things slow it down, have things speed it up. I'd say the more likely outcome for the average player here is around that 2.4 million gold per hour mark. That's just my opinion though. Again, this can be run in a proper team much, much quicker. I can run this in a full team in easily under 30 seconds. In most cases here, doubling the gold earned that you're seeing in this video right now. So yeah, guys, keep it in mind. It's also a great, great farm for modules, kuipers, and much, much more. But it does require a decent team to get it down and get it done efficiently. Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Instant Classic, which has been abused for the past couple of weeks now, and that is a Valby run. This is the Fortress Zone Recon mission. So this is still probably the most popular farm in the game right now, and to be honest, rightfully so. Biggest problem with this one, though, in my opinion, is post-patch. Uh, it requires Valby to be the most efficient, plus the fact now, due to the changes with the cooldown, and the timers within the zone recon missions um, people are choosing now to complete the zone recon mission over failing it so you can instantly reset it because people are also chasing the rewards and the loot drops from completing this that is one of the problems i am seeing now consistently when i'm coming back to this spot to farm this zone recon mission people are deciding not to farm it constantly over and over resetting it instantly because you fail it you can reset it instantly people are choosing to destroy the boss kill the boss and get that loot so that's the problem we may have here i was lucky enough to be able to test this last night i did it for about two hours with a single valby here uh, a couple of other descendants too which were not really adding much to the farm and on an average run of about three minutes um, i was getting around at 80 to 100k gold mark this i'd say will be about the average with a single valby here but if you do this in a team of Valby's, those gains can easily triple. People are still making massive amounts of golds per run here in four teams, upwards of 250 to 300k per run, which is crazy. But again, I doubt very much you'll be able to get anywhere near that if you only have one Valby here. Without a Valby here as well, guys, this farm becomes pretty poor indeed. So doing the maths on average of what I was earning here with a single Valby, um, I would say, to be fair, of what's possible here, I was getting around 100k every three minutes. Sometimes more, sometimes slightly less. Now, over the course of an hour, though, in doing this, this works out to around 2 million gold per hour on average for what I was doing. Now, yes, I'm well aware this can be the best in the game, but for most players to meet those requirements to perform such isn't likely. I do feel right now, though, there are much better gold farming spots in the game. Remember, this is a farm all about killing enemies as fast as you can. The quicker you do so, the more that spawn in, meaning the more you earn. But doing this efficiently uh, drastically affects gains. And without the right descendants or setup, it isn't that great. With them though, like I said, it's probably the best in the game right now. But that brings us on to this next one. The Sterile Land Repository Area Zone Recon Mission. 
So this is a farm I discovered before the latest patch arrived and I still believe it deserves way more loving. It's basically the same as that Valby Run Zone Recon mission we just covered but within a smaller area. This means it requires less to be just as effective if not even more effective since the latest patch took its toll on that Valby Run farm. So I decided to try this with my pal on his Valby, so one Valby, one bunny and we could easily within this one when running it and failing it on purpose we were getting runs down every 3 minutes but at the same time we were getting an average of 200,000 gold per run that is an average of about 66,000 gold per minute this over the course of an hour guys is easily 4 million gold per hour absolutely crazy guys easily the best and most efficient in the list of farms i've covered here today again though you need a valby here without a valby running it solo on my bunny the gains are less obviously i was getting about one third of that number per run without a valby here but then think about this farm in a full team numbers would be scandalous guys so it's definitely a farm to consider but you will need a valby yeah Okay, so next up guys, I want to try out a few classics to see how they do compare. So the first one I tried out was the large nuclear reactor mission within the classified area upon sterile land. So at one time this was regarded the best farm in the game. That didn't last long though due to better ones being found more or less instantly. But I did decide to go back and see what I could earn here in regards to gold. Most people who cover these farms and most of the farms I've covered today only regard them in those Kuiper gains. Today is all about that gold. So I went back to see how much I could earn from this. So I was running this in around that 2 minute mark and I was getting around 65k gold per run. Now that is not bad whatsoever. Doing the maths with this one over an hour, I was averaging around 1.8 million per gold. Which doesn't sound massive, but the best thing about this one is, is how easy it is to do. It requires no particular descendant as all the enemies come running towards you. So as long as you can take out enemies, this one is perfect for you. It's great for those lower level characters also which you're trying to level up to earn not only XP and Kuiper, but also gold at the same time. So definitely keep this one in mind. The next one we want to check out guys is the also oh popular, the also oh legendary anticipated ambush point mission upon Rockfall within sterile land, another classic farm guys and while with this one I just had to test it. Now for me here because uh, this is such a short mission I'd say you can run this restart it in about 45 seconds on a good run. In a team you could easily do that way 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 less and per run here I was averaging between 35 and 45k gold per run. But run times definitely fluctuate all over the place here. But it is still a great farm I do feel people are probably overlooking. Now doing the maths on this one I'd say on average I was getting around 47,000 gold per minute here. Over the course of an hour this would equate to a very pleasant 2.8 million per hour which is probably better than most people would think and it's certainly better than a lot of the farmers people are using to get gold. Again what I was achieving here you could earn more if you're in a decent team you know exactly what they're doing. It's a mission that can be run super super quickly and with that restart timer taking that into consideration I'd say 45 seconds is a good base of what you're earning here. So yes, keep that in mind guys. But yeah, there we have it people, the best gold farms in the game. If I've missed any, do let me know down below in that comment section or you can hit me up on my Discord direct message me uh, if you showcase to me a gold farm that I've not seen or not heard of and I try it out, if it's any good, I'll give you full credit. But yes guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, I hope it does help you out and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.